Hola! I am here doing the pumpkin spice latte tack. So, this is going to be fun. I was tagged to do this from Laura from what everyone else is reading. And I'm really excited to do this. It's Halloween, it's spooky. Don't like pumpkin spice latte, but we don't mind. So the first question. Pumpkin spice latte. A book everyone likes to shit on, but it's delicious. For me, I'm going to go with the obvious for me. The Mortal Insurance series. Um, not necessarily the last three books. Not the biggest fan. But book one, two and three were gold. I love them and everyone always shits on them. Everyone hates them and I love them so much. I don't like it when people call them. Um, so people always crap on the Mortal Insurance. I don't think it deserves it. I loved it. I'm happy with it. No one's going to convince me otherwise. Next is fall is my favourite season. A cliche you just can't get enough of. Now, I thought about this. I thought, what type of thrillers do I always read? What type of things do I love? And the one I come up with is The Killer is One of Us. Like, that's my favourite trope. It's kind of like a locked room one where there's people trapped in a room. You know that one of them has to be the killer. And then it's just a case of figuring out which one. I love that. I loved it in Agatha Christie. I'm assuming other books are going to be similar. I love it. I'm a big fan of it because I like that it's guessable. I've read a lot of thrillers where the killer just turns out to be this randomer that you've never even heard of before. And I'm like, oh, right. Okay. And whilst it was really good, it's not what I prefer. I like knowing that the killer is going to be one of these people. And I like trying to figure out which one it's going to be. That is my favourite type. I love it. It is great. Mwah. Next. Sweater weather in the morning, t-shirt weather in the afternoon. A book you thought was one thing, but was completely different at the end. I went for You've Been Warned by James Patterson and Howard Ruffin. This, this I thought was just going to be a very run-of-the-mill basic thriller. It's going to be about a woman who basically has an affair with the husband of the wife whose children she's looking after. That got complicated. Basically, she's the nanny and she's sleeping with the father of that group. I thought it was going to be about her getting warned, saying you are not doing this. You're getting too big for your britches, madam. Um, you've been warned, back off. I thought that's what it was going to be about and it was going to be a thriller about her getting threatened. Uh, no. No, I can't really tell you what it is because, spoiler territory, but really, really good. And I really loved it. It's more of a supernatural thriller. And that is as close as I can get to telling you without spoiling anything. But mm, that was, oh, it was elite. That was truly elite. Next, spoops. Do you have a spooky book on your TBR? Yes, I do. I am taking part in Horrorathon, so I have quite a few. But the closest one to me that I'm going to be reading, It by Stephen King. Obviously quite a popular one. Obviously a chonkers. I have been highly anticipating, but very, very terrified of reading this. And I'm going to. So I'm really looking forward to it. This is on my TBR. It's the prompt. Next is Tarot Reading, a five-star prediction. And I went for More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera. I read They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. I fell in love with it. And I was recommended this one as a book with a twist ending that will make me cry. And I love books that can make me cry. And because I loved They Both Die at the End so much, I thought I'm going to give it a go. I bought it. And I honestly think it's going to be five stars. Finally, Sephora Sage and Crystal Set. A book that means well, but missed the mark by a landslide. And I went for Gone by Michael Grant. I think this had so much promise. It was a really good potential book. It was really interesting. The idea of people disappearing once they hit 15. The idea of these children now having superpowers. I, I loved the idea. It was just so badly written. It was written terribly to the point where I had to give it a two star rating. I'm still carrying on the series because I still want to carry on. The plot interested me enough, but I wasn't happy with how it was carried out and how it was written. I was really upset about that. Still, 
I think it missed the mark, but it had such good intentions. Also, disability rep for autism. No, very, very bad. So also very much missed the mark. And that is all the prompts. This was a very quick video. Wow. Okay. Awesome. I like a short video. Everyone loves a short video. Just nice, quick, short. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, make sure you leave a comment down below and make sure you give me a like and subscribe. I'm not going to tag anyone to do this, but if you want to do it, consider yourself tagged. Now, what I want for you guys is to comment if you have read any of these books and give me your opinion. All right, let me know what you think. See you later, guys. Bye. SafeMusicList.com